Hi friends, happy Thursday. It's so nice out today. I'm gonna take the kids for a walk down to um, socially distance visit myself, my mother. She lives in our neighborhood. So we're gonna go and take a quick peek over at her. And let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me just pop this in a couple places and we're gonna be ready to rock. All right, we're gonna do easy peasy glowy look today using medium CC cream. And hi, Nicole. CC cream stands for complexion corrector. So this is like one of my favorite products, honestly, with Arbonne, just obsessed with it. Um, I did use a little bit of our liquid sunshine and I mixed it into my night cream last night so that I got a little bit of a glow today. So if I'm looking a little more tan than normal, that is why I, and you can see, look how orange my hands are because I forgot to wash it off there. Hi, Virginia. All right, so we're gonna go in with a little bit of makeup primer and I'm gonna add that first and then I'll show you all the little goodies that we're gonna use today just to make a really simple look. Obviously, this is a t-shirt day. I don't have any jewelry on. Like this is everyday mom looks, but it was so nice. I kind of contemplated not doing makeup today and then I was like, you know what? I just need to, it makes me feel better. Hi, Katie. All right, so makeup primer, I put it everywhere and I kind of just massage it into my skin like this. Um, get that lymphatic drainage going. It really does help to contour your face better when you kind of push all of your skin around and get all of the liquid that settles underneath it out and back into your lymphatic system. So I take every opportunity I can to do that. I do it with my primer, with my day cream, with my night cream, my serums, all that. Hi, Caitlin. All right, so we're just gonna wait for that to go on super easy. And then we're gonna go on with CC cream in the shade medium. Um, because I have a little bit of tan on today, I'm gonna use medium. Hi, I always wanna learn your tricks and skills, so I finally have time to hop on. Katie, that makes me so happy. All right, so this is medium, which is normally a little bit dark for me. I love to take the medium and mix it with my soft blush foundation. Um, but honestly, this is gonna be my perfect shade for summertime. I'm pretty pale, but I find that if I take a little bit of concealer and I highlight my face with it, I can pretty much make even a dark foundation blend out on my skin. But I have to say, you guys, CC cream, probably my most favorite thing from Arbonne across our entire product line. This was worth its weight in gold to me and one of the strongest reasons for me to change gears in January when I did. So I just have a damp beauty blender. I just washed this over in the sink with hot water and hand soap. And I'm just gonna go and gently press the CC cream into my skin like this. Hi, Sonia. And it just blends out beautifully and it gives you a gorgeous, dewy, like well moisturized complexion. It doesn't give you any of that really weird cakey stuff. I actually was answering a girl um, last night on Instagram. She said, could I send you a picture of my skin when I finish my makeup? It just looks like really cakey and sort of, um, what was the word that she used? It just it aged her because of all the layers that she was putting on. First of all, you don't need a ton of makeup in order to get good coverage. If you're using a quality product like this, a little bit of makeup goes a very long way. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Sonia. Hi, Leanne. Um, so the less makeup you use, you just want to make sure that there's really good pigment in it and then you don't have to cake it on your face and it's going to look better in the end. So like first rule of makeup, don't wear makeup that requires you to just keep applying layers. I'm also on a social experiment to see how long I can go without washing my hair. And, uh, you know, if I start looking a little, little haggard, just DM me and say it. Don't say it in the video because that'll hurt my feelings. One time I read, hmm, one time I read a comment out loud because I read the comments out loud so that I can address them and people know what I'm referring to. And this girl said, 
that I must be very talented in other ways in my marriage for my husband to stay with me because of my crooked tooth. <laughs> and I'm like sitting here doing a makeup video and I read that whole sentence out loud and then I was like, okay, so that happened and not really sure how to respond to that. Hi, Kate. So, you know, these are the fun things about putting yourself out there in the world that people don't tell you before you do it. All right, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer in the shade Light. I don't want to, I usually use Fair to do my concealer, but I'm using the shade Light today, which is still pretty light, as you can see. So I call it light, um, but it's not quite as bright as Fair. And we're just going to highlight with this. A little bit goes a very long way. I never have to dip it more than the one time to come out. And we're just going to highlight our face with this, brighten it up, contour our nose. Where did my nose go? I don't even know. Who even stares at your teeth? Honestly, ever since she said that, I stare at my teeth. When I watch my videos back, I do see this tooth more than I see anything else. But it's just like, dude, no one is perfect. There is literally not even if you ask a supermodel, like, are you perfect? They would point out a hundred flaws about themselves. So like we cannot just stop doing things because we're not perfect. That's bananas. Kate. Kate, your last name is Albright? My maiden name is Albright. So obviously I love you. Hi, Kath. Hi, Vanessa. All right. So I'm just taking the short side of that sponge and blending it in. I don't know. It's like anything in life, you know, I do it too. I'll watch TV and we'll watch like the housewives or something like that. And I have a comment for what people are doing and saying and whatever. And then I'm like, you know, would I want to be on TV and have people pull me apart? Absolutely not. But it's like, it's what people do. It's human nature. I guess I'm just lucky that it happened on the internet and not to my face because I would have probably cried. <laughs> Yes, I uh, I was Megan Albright for 24 years of my life, and now I'm Megan Albright Barkovich because I didn't have a middle name. So when Justin and I got married, I made Albright my middle name. All right, so I just press this in. I don't like wipe my makeup around. I just kind of dab it in, and it's going to give you a better finished look all over the place. Maybe you're related to my husband. He doesn't know his biological father. Really? Kate, where are you from? Or where is he from? My dad, uh, so my dad passed away in December and he was a twin. And he had always been told by his great aunt that his father had an affair and that the woman he had an affair with got pregnant. And, you know, back then in the 50s, they didn't get rid of babies. And so he found a family in Florida that he knew that could not have children. And he brought the baby down there and had this baby privately adopted. So I have always believed in my heart that my dad had another brother in Florida somewhere and that he never got to meet him. So I doubt he would have the last name Albright, but still it's like just one of those like things that I always think about. And I wished like before that he had passed that we had found him and they got to meet. Yeah, it's crappy. Um, but, you know, we had 74 glorious years of Mickey Albright. So, you know, I guess I, I say it to people like this. I had a wonderful dad. Hold. I'll take losing him early over never having had him. Hi, Marion. All right, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this, guys. This is happy makeup time. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking a little bit of our Got You Covered Mineral Powder in the shade Natural, and I'm just going to set my makeup with it. Um, instead of using setting powder, I just put a little bit of this in the top because I like to use as little bit as possible. And this is gonna give me like a full on airbrushed look. And we're just putting this in the areas that we didn't highlight. 
and a little bit goes a long way. I'm obsessed with our foundation powders. They melt into your skin. They feel amazing and they do not ever go on cakey. That's why another reason less is more use products that go with your skin as opposed to against it. Hi Florence, hi Lauren. And all of these products that I'm using has have SPF in them. And for me personally, I need the SPF. I always forget to wear it. If it was just like a product on its own, I would definitely forget to put it on. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of our Setting Pretty setting powder, and I'm gonna put that in the areas that I highlighted. And I'm just gonna add it to my makeup sponge. Just a little bit goes a long way. And we're gonna place it underneath it. My daughter, who is two and a half, is mesmerized by right now. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. What is your daughter's name? Honestly, I'm mesmerized by all makeup videos. Like even the ones where you're like, wow, this is not gonna end well, also mesmerized. You can't, you can't give me a bad one. You always learn something either a to do or a not to do. Hi, Addison. Oh my gosh. So my son Chase, who's nine, has the biggest crush on a little girl named Addison. And she's adorable. She's beautiful. She looks like an American girl doll for crying out loud. And she actually lives up the street and we can't even say the name Addison in our house without my son blushing. It's kind of adorable. And by kind of adorable, I mean completely adorable. I think your first crush. All right, so we're gonna go in with the glue palette and we're gonna use um, this shade right here, which is called Meteor to contour with because I love me some bronze. We're gonna add our cheekbones in. I kind of measure where to start with the top of my ear and I just sort of blend down towards the corner of my mouth and you can feel your cheekbone there. That's hilarious and adorable. He is, he got in trouble at the beginning of the school year because when she would get on the bus, he would put his book bag up in front of his face so that he didn't look at her because he knew he blushed. And he got very self-conscious of it. So Addison told her parents that, you know, Chase, wasn't looking at her on the bus and da, da 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 And her parents said, well, if it makes you uncomfortable, then it's bullying and you should tell the bus driver and the, the woman in the office that Chase is being mean to you. So she did. And the first week of school, Chase got pulled out of his classroom by the principal and he had to go down to the principal's office and talk about a better way of handling it so that he didn't make Addison uncomfortable because what he was doing was bullying. So when I heard that he was just simply like trying not to blush in front of the girl he loved, I was not okay with it. I'm like, you're not. And I said to the principal, I was like, he's not bullying her. He's just, he's bashful because he likes her. Like there's nothing, you don't have to, Make eye contact with every human being that gets on the bus. And the principal completely agreed with that. He was like, I know, but it's super sensitive. And, you know, we have to just kind of whatever, make sure that the parents feel that we've spoken to him or what have you. So mama was not happy with that. I got a little bit mama bear about it. Like I explained to him that, you know, we don't want to make her uncomfortable. But, you know, at the same time, he doesn't have to look and smile at everybody. It was bizarre, it was bizarre. All right, I'm gonna go in, because we're using the Glow Palette and it's got a blush in it, I'm not gonna take out another blush. So I'm gonna use this gorgeous shade, it's called Moonstone. It's like the prettiest corally peach pink and I love it. I'm just gonna kind of stipple that on our cheek here. And I think we're also gonna use this today. Sorry, that was my husband calling me and he's just gonna have to wait. He can hop on my live if he has questions. He's down at my mother's house right now, power washing her patio. All right, so let's go on with a little bit of brows. I'm gonna use brow pencil in light, and then we're gonna go in with light medium brow cream. Literally, our brow products give you the most natural brows ever. Um, Obviously, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I used to use other makeup from another company. 
And when I look back at certain things that I did all the time, my brows being one of them, I can't believe I didn't scare like children in the grocery store because my brows, honestly, they looked so forced. Oh, here he comes, tiny dog. Do you hear him? Hold on. Dee Dee. Do you hear him? Deedle. Yeah. Are you gonna get dressed? Yeah. It's nice out, so put on shorts and a sh and a t-shirt, okay? Tell Chase to get dressed. My five-year-old listens better than my not, almost nine-year-old. Chase will be nine next month. Okay, so that is the shade Light. Yes, this is our light brow pencil. I'm obsessed with our brow pencil. It literally makes doing your eyebrows so incredibly easy. There's a little spoolie on the end, so I always just kind of comb my brows up and over. It helps to blend so that they look really flawless. And then I go in with our brow gel, and this is our brow gel in light medium. And it just adds a little bit of extra texture to your brows and fullness. So if you have long brows or wiry brows, you're gonna be obsessed with this product because it just fills them out beautifully without looking fake. That is probably my most favorite um, review that I have gotten from this makeup is that people are like, I look so wholesome. Like when I even put on a full face, it doesn't look forced. And I'm obsessed with that. Like as, a, as someone who is kind of critical about makeup, that is one of the nicest things that you could say about someone who does their makeup is that they look like themselves when they're finished. All right, so let's go in with the shade Meteor, which is what we used to do our contour. And I'm just gonna pop this right in my crease. We're gonna do just a very effortlessly glowy eye look today. And let's add a little bit of that moonstone to it as well, because why not? Just right over the lid. Nothing is precise. You don't have to worry that you're screwing something up. And then when we, I'm gonna take Twilight, which is this, this color right here, put it on my finger. And we're gonna go on the inside corner and just kind of brighten it up with a little bit of Twilight. And then I'm going to take just a little angled brow pencil and grab that meteor shade and wipe it right along my lower lash line. Hi, Evelyn. All right, let's take Carob. Hi, Andrea. I'm gonna take Carob brow or eyeliner and I'm just gonna sort of thicken up my lashes with the carob. I just run it right along the lash line. And it just makes your uh, lashes look a little bit more dramatic. I also got these amazing magnetic lashes in the mail. I haven't tried them, but I think I'm gonna try them today. Hi Kelly, hi Evelyn. Something crashed to the ground. Love to know what that is. Okay, so this is, I love the shade. This is like just a shade away from going black. It's called Carob. It is one of my favorite products with Arbonne. I love everything I touch with my eyes in Arbonne is hypoallergenic and I no longer get itchy, watery, red eyes during the day. Who'd have thought? We're gonna go with Speaks Volume Mascara. And it really does fluff your lashes up beautifully. It separates them. 
makes them look gorgeous and fluffy and voluptuous. And I do two coats because you can't have enough mascara in my book. I bet you anything that the five-year-old is completely dressed and ready to go and that my nine-year-old is not. A hundred dollars says that that is the case. Does anyone else have an eye that they can do really, really well? And then the eye that just doesn't cooperate because it's on the other side of your dominant hand face? Other side of your dominant hand. We'll just leave it there. I don't think I needed to say face. This eye over here is always a problem with mascara. All right, we're going to take what we have left over on the wand and just get after those lower little baby lashes. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see them every time. Every darn time. Hi, Cheryl. Yep, always, I always add a little bit of like a mascara. It's, people probably think that I have like a beauty mark over there or something because I always have a little mascara dot in that direction. I try to get these little teeny tiny lashes that live on the inside corner to stand up because it just makes your whole lash look kind of bigger and bigger and badder. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's the Speaks Volume Mascara. Obsessed. All right, let's go in with a little bit of highlight. So we're going back to that glow palette. I'm going to take the shade Stardust. And we're just going to kind of blend into that brighter part of our cheekbone. Add a little bit of glow to our complexion right on the tip of our nose. And right on our cupid's bow. So I'm using an eyeliner today for a lip liner. This is the shade Morel. I'm obsessed with it for a lip liner. It's not super duper pink. Um, and it's not super duper brown. It's a beautiful neutral. What, bud? Got you got dressed. Do you have socks on? Yeah. Okay, great. I'll meet you downstairs in a few minutes. I hope I watch enough of these. I can do my own. Cheryl. I will help you. Just you say when we'll do a, a socially distancing duet one of these. All right, so I'm gonna take this and just gently overline right in the center of eye lift and then tailor it back up. So you, you go over or right on the underside of your lip in the middle and then you pull it back in on the sides. It's like lip contouring. Everything gets contoured these days. Objects in the mirror are not what they appear. You know what I'm saying? All right. Top also gets overlined. Okay. And now we're gonna go in with a gorgeous lipstick duo. This is the shade Jasmine. So this is the lipstick and this is the gloss. We're gonna start with the lipstick, obviously. Do not put too much lipstick on. This is a common thing that I see people kind of overdo all the time. You don't need a lot of lipstick to get a lot of pigment. Like I was saying before, you wanna use products that you don't need to overuse to get the color on there. So I've actually wiped off a considerable amount And you want to apply your lipstick in thin layers so it can dry and you don't end up with like chunky lips that don't fully dry and therefore they wipe off really easy. I think I have to dermaplane my face tonight. I'm getting like a, a fuzzy effect right on my upper lip. Hi, Susan. All 
Okay, so lipstick is on, ow, just kicked the floor for no apparent reason. We're gonna wait for it to dry and I'm gonna take a little bit of that concealer in light that we use to do our under eyes. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. And pop it right in the center. Like so, and that's gonna make our lips look more pouty and delicious when we're done. Let that dry. Hi Susan, how are you? And then I'm gonna go in with the gloss side of that Jasmine Duo. And obviously, obviously, um, doing the the concealer in the center isn't necessary. I just do it to add a little bit of volume. Can you do a live dermo? I want to do mine. Yes. So I use these little tinkle razors. Um, you know what I can do? I can do a skincare video tonight. I love the Jasmine too, Kelly. It's like one of my favorites, especially for spring. It just feels super, super springy. Um, I, I'll actually do a skincare video, which is one that I've wanted to do. Hi, Steffi. Um, yeah, I'll do a skincare video and I'll derma plane because I do think that this is an amazing way to exfoliate your face as well as get the fuzz off. It makes your makeup look better, all the things. Um, what did I wanna do? Oh, I wanted to use these magnetic eyelashes <laughs> for no other reason other than, you know, market research. I put some Arbonne stuff on my Mother's Day list for my husband. I may or may not have talked to your husband this week. All right, so these are, I got these at Target. They're Ardell Magnetic Eyelashes. Um, I got them because personally, I cannot use eye the magnetic eyeliner and I can't use the lash glue. It irritates the heck out of my eyes. I'm incredibly sensitive. Uh, I know I've said that a couple of times, but it's true. Um, so these are magnetic and there's an upper lower. These are just accents because I didn't want a full lash. Um, so let's see. Let's see how difficult these are to actually put on. So these are the uppers. Okay. Is that right? I don't know. No, it can't be right. I, I must have it already on wrong. Yep, I did. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> I put two uppers on one eye. That's why I'm an idiot. He always goes off the list. Hi, Haley. See, I didn't even, you guys, I can do this. I have a college degree for crying out loud. Upper, no, I definitely, oh, I, I am an idiot. Hold on. All right, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit how difficult this is for me. Is it supposed to go like this? Do we have to start over? What's happening here? All right, so we're, I, I guess I'm winging it because I don't actually know. Is this the right way? I guess we'll see. If I look like a who from Whoville at the end, well, this can't be right. It doesn't look right. This longest piece should be at the end, right? They are hard as hell to do. All right, glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. Maybe this is the under and this is the upper. Can't be. All right, maybe the, I have it on the wrong eye then. Let's try it going on the other eye. I feel like this should not be this hard. Hi, Paula. I wouldn't even know where to start with those. Amen. 
as you can see. As you can see. Hi, Samara. Hi, Paula. Um, so, yeah. Um, interesting. If I can get it to clip together, then I won't be upset with it, except that I don't understand how it clips together. Right? Like in theory, it's supposed to look like that, but how does that go on your eyeball? All right, start there. This little magnet here on the end just doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> this is not good, guys. So this is for everyone watching eyelash videos and going, it can't be that hard. It is. Because I'm okay with... Let's try this side. Maybe I'm, it's just my handedness. This side is also a problem. I mean, this side looks better than that side. What I like about them is that they are very lightweight. But what I don't like about them is that they're impossible to put on. All right. Giving this one more college try. In theory, it's just a magnet and it should be easy, right? All right, I believe that that one is on about as good as it gets. Looks a little crazy, but you know, it's crazy times. Let's try this side one more time. and go to your home. Nope. Wow. Wow. I honestly think that you need a degree to do this. Hi, Terry. It would be one thing if you could like shimmy them into place, but literally the magnet is nowhere near my lash line when I do this and it's a problem. We're trying one more time before I just throw them in the garbage. I think we have to get the exterior clipped first. You guys, this is ridiculous. My children are probably like, where is this broad? What's she doing upstairs? She's just trying to put on lashes. It's fine. All right. I don't know. I may play with it. I may not. I got this one to work. If anyone here is a magnetic, magnetic lash expert, please let me know what I'm doing wrong. I think this is as good as it gets. I have no, I think that as soon as I go outside, they're gonna fly away in the breeze. But I'm sure that it's just me not being a learned lash wearer that is having this issue. What do we think? Don't quit my day job, right? 100% don't quit your day job. Okay, so I'm going to finish this look with a little Let It Set setting spray. Um, hypoallergenic, doesn't irritate my skin. It makes my skin, even when I have powder on, look really dewy and incredible. So this is a must-have product, in my opinion. All right, so with that, I will go take, it's daytime, so I'm going to go take a selfie in that window so you get natural lighting, and you can see 
we'll take a little vote on these lashes, whether there's something that is worth it or not. Maybe, maybe I need to try doing it more. Look how dark my hair is. Literally, this is my natural color. My hair has grown so much. Holy. Makeup looks beautiful. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, honestly, just like easy looks are my favorite. We were watching um, Hunger Games Catching Fire last night, which is the second one where they go back to the Hunger Games. And I was like looking at all the amazing makeup in that video or in that movie. And like Katniss, when she goes to the Capitol in the Mockingjay attire, it's just like, oh man, she has these beautiful hooded eyes and they did such a great job on her makeup in that i was dead for it and also the shirt is target how cute is this shirt it says love her back because honestly how relevant is that this whole earth vibe right now um also you guys deodorant get the arbon deodorant it smells like a dream it's soothing aloe so your arms will not get like chapped from shaving them it's aluminum free, completely vegan, the best deodorant I've ever had. And it smells so good and clean. I'm all for it. Um, you guys, there's tons of great ideas for Mother's Day. So if you're stuck and your husband's saying, what can I get you for Mother's Day? Go to the Arbonne website and pick out some stuff because it's all just like the bomb.com. All right, I'm going to take these monsters for a walk and we're gonna take a picture and I will post all of the ingredients to the, the makeup today um, and the shades that I used. If anybody has any questions, get a hold of your Arbon consultant, immediately get your orders placed. Um, this month, especially, got you covered on some awesome stuff. Love your tutorials, thank you so much for sharing. Always, Kate. Um, I will be back tomorrow to do another look, so if anybody has anything that they wanna see special, just let me know, and I will make sure that the next video we hit all those products. But I love you guys, I will see you very soon. Mwah. Oh, and we'll do a skincare video soon, Cheryl. Maybe even tonight, you never know. All right, bye guys.